starring Tommy Rettig as Jeff Miller. Jan Clayton as his mother, Ellen. George Cleveland as Gramps. And, of course, Lassie. Jeff, do you know what's in this letter? Not exactly. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. I'll do even better than that. I'll read it to you. Dear Mrs. Miller, I am concerned, as I know you will be, about Jeffrey's work in arithmetic. He is capable of much better work than he is doing. May I suggest that he devote more time to this subject at home? I think a little effort on his part will solve his problem very quickly. Sincerely, Amelia Robbins. Well? I didn't know Miss Robbins' first name was Amelia. Did you ever know anybody else named Amelia? I didn't... Let Steps forget about the names and concentrate on the arithmetic. Why are you doing so poorly? Gosh, Mom, do I have to be a whiz in every subject? I don't know why Miss Robbins is saying no something about arithmetic. She never writes you about geography. I'm doing okay in that. You're supposed to do okay in all of your subjects. But I don't like arithmetic. I don't blame you, but it's important. N n now, look. Learning is, is like building. If you don't have a good foundation, well, you can never build a solid house. We're studying fractions. No one ever builds one-seventh of a house. Why do I have to learn it? Oh! Suppose Lassie were sick. The doctor's left some medicine with you. Now, you're supposed to give her a half the first day, a quarter the next day, and the rest of it in the next four days. Now, what would you do? Well, what kind of medicine? Well, that isn't important. But it is if Lassie's sick. We wouldn't want to give her the wrong... All right. She's not sick. Uh, this is a tonic to keep her healthy. Well, if she's healthy, why does she need a tonic? You aren't by any chance trying to evade this question. I don't know what evade means. Well, evade means... It's when you... Oh, never mind. I see we're not going to get very far this way. Can I go out and play? Under the circumstances, I think that you'd better stay here instead of your arithmetic. Oh, gosh, Mom. Lassie and me were going to... Lassie and I, I don't want any notes about your English. We were going to meet Porky. It's time for work and a time for play, Jeff, and... This is your time for work. Arithmetic. You think a guy could play once in a while instead of having to do schoolwork all the time? Come on, Lassie. Oh, no, Jeff. I think you'll get a lot more work done in less time if Lassie isn't with you. Oh, gosh, Mom. Lassie's always with me. Well, that may be part of your trouble. No, if you're in your room alone, I think you'll concentrate on your work. Now, run along, sweetie. Come on, Lassie. You go out and play. There's no reason why you can't have a good time, even if I can't. I'll be locked up in my room, but you go out and get the fresh air. It's healthy. When you're growing, you need a lot of fresh air. Well, you just leave your window open and you'll have plenty of fresh air. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be president when I grow up, and I'll make a law there won't be any arithmetic in the whole world. <laughs> okay, girl, you run on out. You can see your pal later. Lassie! You can't come in here. Didn't you hear what Mom said? I'm a prisoner. No, go away. Go. Hi, Gramps. Lassie, go on. What you doing? Arithmetic. How are you coming? Pretty good. Do you know anything about fractions? Uh, well, what do you want to know? Well, if something is times something, it's more than something that's plus something, right? Uh, uh, say that again. Well, 4 times 4 is 16, and 4 plus 4 is only 8. 16 is more than 8, so that makes time more than plus, right? Well, got to agree with that. Well, then how come they say that 1 half plus 1 half is 1, and 1 half times 1 half is only a quarter? Yeah, who says that? My teacher in my book. Let me see it. Huh. 
That don't make sense. You can't multiply half a dollar by a half a dollar and come out with a quarter. Then how come it says so in the book? Um, I ain't got my specs. Can't read a word. They're right in your pocket. Well, I ain't got time. Uh, you want to go to the circus? The circus? Yeah. When? Where? Capital City, Saturday. The circus? Oh, boy! <laughs> Who cares about arithmetic anyway? <laughs> Can everybody read that all right? Any questions before we start? All right, you have 30 minutes. Time's up. Leave your test papers on your own desks. Have a nice weekend, and I'll see you on Monday. Jeffrey Miller and Sylvester Brockway, will you please bring your papers to me? Class dismissed. Thank you. Your paper's perfect, Sylvester. And your paper, Jeffrey, is perfect. Except for the last problem. It's too bad you weren't able to copy the last problem, Jeffrey. And it's too bad you weren't able to let him copy it, Sylvester. Don't you have anything to say, Jeffrey? I'm sorry. Sorry you copied, or sorry you were caught? Both, I guess. We give tests, Jeffrey, to learn what progress you're making, not how well you can copy. So I think under the circumstances, it might be a good idea for you to take another test, don't you? Yes, ma'am. I've prepared another set of problems for you. And you can go to work right now. I'll wait for you outside, Jeff. Just a minute, Sylvester. There's no reason for you to take another arithmetic test. But since Jeffrey and I have to stay after school, you might as well stay with us. And take a test in history. I've got one all ready for you. Isn't that fine? Daniel Boone? Mm-hmm. Sylvester, I think perhaps it might be better if you were to take another seat. Not so close to Jeffrey. worried, but I got a call from Miss Robbins explaining why you'd be late. You did? Yes, yes, she explained that she kept you after school. What's she picking on me for? I told her I was sorry I copied Forky's paper. Miss Robbins didn't say anything about your copying Forky's paper. Oh? Did you? Yes. Why? I don't know. Yes, you do. Now think about it. No, I don't know why. It's very simple. You didn't know the answers. You felt you had to copy from Porky. The reason you didn't know the answers is because you've been neglecting your schoolwork. That's right, isn't it? I guess so. I'll do better next time, Mom. I promise. I hope you will, because the next time is tomorrow. But, Mom, tomorrow's Saturday. I know. Well, there's no school tomorrow. Jeff, Miss Robbins and I had a, a long talk. She was very sweet about this. She's agreed to meet you tomorrow at school and give you another test. I can't, Mom. Tomorrow I'm going to the circus. I'm sorry, dear. Oh, but I gotta go. I can't miss the circus on account of an old arithmetic test. It isn't just an old arithmetic test. Jeff, 
Honey, I'm not trying to punish you, but you must have a, a sense of values. You've got to learn what is important and what isn't. The circus may not be important to you, but it is to me. Well, of course it is. But responsibilities come before fun. You know that. Cooking and cleaning, taking care of you and Gramps. My responsibilities and schoolwork is one of yours. I think it's mean of you to make me miss the circus. All right, son, you have a right to think as you wish. But I expect you to go to your room now and study for your test. No, Lassie, you can't come in with me. It's like I was in jail. No friends, no fun, nothing. What have you got to complain about? At least he doesn't think you're mean. Hi, Miss Miller. Oh, hi, Sylvester. My, you got a haircut. Yeah, where's Jeff? Well, he's in his room, but you can't see him now. Is he being punished? No, he's studying his arithmetic. Isn't that being punished? You better scoot on home now, honey. It's getting your supper time. It is? Bye. Horsey. Hi, Mr. Miller. Hi. Got a haircut, eh? Yeah. <laughs> All set for the circus? Sure am. Is Jeff going? You bet he is. Well, excuse me, I don't want to be late for dinner. <laughs> I bet you never have been. <laughs> Hi, Ellen. Well. I see you got that look on your face. What look? That Jeff trouble look. You're too good a guesser. Well, let's hear it. Jeff flunked his arithmetic test. <laughs> well, that ain't nothing to make the world come to an end, is it? Oh, I've made arrangements for him to take another test tomorrow. Well, wait a minute. What about the circus? Well, to be honest with you, I, I forgot about that when I made the arrangements. But I can't back down now. Oh, that's going to be pretty rough on a kid. He probably hates me. I, I, I've got to make him understand that he, he can't slough off his responsibilities just because they're no fun. Look, Jeff's a good kid. I've seen him where they get stubborn as a mule. But Jeff does pretty much as he's told. Oh, I know that. He just, he hasn't made any effort with this arithmetic. It, it'd be different if he tried and failed. Well, when is the test? Tomorrow? In the morning. Look, I got an idea. Now, if he does good, How's about me taking him to the circus right after the test? It starts at 2 o'clock, and uh, we won't miss much of it. Oh, oh that's, that's just wonderful. Uh, Only let's not say anything to him about it until he gets home tomorrow. Maybe he'll study better if he thinks he isn't getting away with anything. <laughs> <laughs> Can I be excused? Well, you haven't touched your pie. No, I don't want any. What's your favorite? Huckleberry. I don't feel like it. Well, all right, dear. Oh, Jeff, I know you're angry, and, and I'm sorry, but I do wish you'd try to be fair. Remember one thing, I'll never scold you for poor grades or for anything else, so long as you can tell me that you've tried and done your best. Can you honestly say that about your arithmetic? All right, I hope you do well on your test tomorrow. Thank you. Can Lassie come to my room now? Yes, dear. Come on, Lassie. Come here, Lassie. We gotta have a talk. You don't know it yet, but we're running away from home tomorrow. I'd go tonight, but I gotta prove something first. I'm gonna show Mom and Miss Robbins that I can do their crummy old fractions. When they find out, we'll be gone. Maybe I will miss the circus, but they'll be sorry. Because we're not coming home after the test tomorrow, not ever. We might even join the circus. But you gotta help me. I gotta learn all this fractions junk tonight, and it may take me till morning. I get awful sleepy, so you gotta see that I don't go to sleep. Understand? Look, if I start to go to sleep, you nudge me. And if you fall asleep, I'll wake you so that you can wake me. Right? Now, I'm starting from page one. I'm gonna know more about fractions than Miss Robbins. 
fraction is a part of a unit. If you divide an orange into four parts, each part is a fraction of the whole orange. Oranges. The lowest common denominator, the smallest fraction, this problem can be divided. The lowest common denominator is the one-fourth plus one-fifth equals nine-twentieths. Thanks, Lassie. One-fourth plus one-fifth one and two-thirds times two. trouble staying awake, Jeffrey. Anything wrong? Didn't you sleep well last night? Oh, I'm all right. Just finishing the last problem. I'd like to wait. I'll grade your paper now. I can't tell you how pleased I am. This is a perfect paper. I knew you could do good work if you just made up your mind to do it. Will you phone my mom and tell her? I certainly will. Don't forget. Bye. Oh, well, that was very sweet of you. Thanks again, Miss Robbins. Bye. Where's Jeff? He'll be home any minute uh -huh. now. He got a hundred on his test. A perfect paper. I told you there was nothing to get into a stool about. The trouble is you forget who his grandfather is. <laughs> As if you'd ever let me forget. And you go get dressed. I'll make the lunch. And I, I won't tell him that he's going to the circus. You can have that pleasure. Mm. I just want to watch his face. Quarter of eleven. Well, we can make it easy if we leave by noontime. Yeah, well, hurry yeah. up then. He'll be here any minute. No. No, I, I suppose so, but I, I don't know what to think. He's never done anything like this before. Well, thanks a lot, and of course I'll let you know. Goodbye. I said there's no sign of him. That was Miss Robbins. Jenny located her at the Prescott's. She said Jeff was acting awfully strange when he left school. And he left at 20 minutes till 11. Well, I can't understand that. Why, you know, it's 1.10 right now. I, I tried the Brockways, but I guess Birdie went to the circus with Matt and the boy. Well, Dad, I'm worried. Now, look, don't you be worried at all, because there's nothing to worry over. And if it leaves your mind any, I'll go and get out of these clothes, and I'll go and look for them. It's too late to go to the circus anyway. I wonder if it's worth it. Worth what? Having children. It isn't mumps or measles or whooping cough. It's something like this. Look, sit down here and relax now, will you? There's just a few places he can be, and I know them all. Oh, Dad, if anything happens, it's my fault. Now, look, stop talking foolish. Nothing's happened to him. Well, he's probably down at the lake right now, and he's... Uh... Hi, Mom. Oh, Jack. I'm sorry I'm late, Mom, but me and Lassie, I and Lassie, well, we fell asleep in the field on 
You fell asleep in the field, darling. Yeah, on the way home. On account of we were up most of the night studying for the test. I got something to tell you. It's not about the test. I didn't copy this time. It's about me. What about you, dear? Well, after I missed the circus, I was gonna run away from home. But then me and Lassie sat down in the field to think it over. And we figured it out that it would be sort of dopey to run away from home because... Well, because you were right. And if I'd have studied like I was supposed to, I, I wouldn't have missed the circus. Now, I got something to tell you, young fella. The circus is coming to Belleville next Saturday, and we're going to see two shows, afternoon and night. Yes, sirree. Now, what do you think of that? Golly, Gramps, thanks. Oh, darling. <laughs> <laughs>